All right, this is Bryce. You might have seen him on my channel once or twice. That rhymed. <laughs> but he has his bass drum. It's a 22 by 18 Pearl Vision that he needs cut down. I actually did a video on cutting down a different Pearl Vision, but I honestly just didn't have the motivation to get a before and after clip, so this is my redemption video. Also, big thanks to Lewitt Microphones. I was looking for a new bass drum mic and they graciously sent over their DTP 640 Rex, which is actually two mics, a dynamic and condenser, all in the same body, so no need to worry about any phase issues. This is my first time using it on the kick and it's definitely not gonna be the last. All right, so it's been, what, a couple weeks since we cut this thing down? How are you liking it? Um, <laughs> that mic. Does it just look as stupid? <laughs> no, it's just the fact that it is a stupid. <laughs> um, no, uh, you know, I was a little hesitant at first just because I've played 18s, uh, 22 by 18 for the length of my drumming life, so... Um, I kind of wanted to do something different and, you know, a lot of the kits that I'm seeing nowadays are shorter kicks. So I was like, you know what, let's just try something different. So when we cut it down to a 13, I was, or like almost a 13, it was, uh, a little scary, but after getting kind of acclimated of kind of losing like the boom of it in the room, I, I've really kind of grown accustomed to it, so now the other kits that I play that have an 18-inch kick drum, I'm not super keen on it. Um, I really like the uh, the punch of it, uh, the response of it. It's a lot easier to kind of feel when you're really digging into the drum, especially when you're doing doubles. Um, it gives back really, really quick. Um, you know, hearing and listening to it, the low end, it's not lost. It's just almost like automatically compressed so it kind of hits you a lot quicker and then it releases a lot quicker it's really space friendly too i can you know walk it through a doorway and not have anything to worry about um and it just really looks kind of cool it looks different I, i'm i'm definitely a fan of it um and you know i still like a you know i still do like the 22 by 18s but i think this was a big risk but big reward kind of thing where you know it 
I hadn't played something this short before or owned something this short. The only thing I lost was some, you know, taking up floor space and maybe like a hint of like a boom inside of, you know, inside of the room. But, you know, on a, you know, if I were to take this on a gig, I'd be perfectly happy. My car is going to be happy. Um, and I honestly think sound engineers will be happier too because it's just so much, uh, so much more focused. So, yeah, big fan, big fan all around. Now, what sounds better, the bass drum or that snare? <laughs> oh, this snare right here? Yes, that snare. <laughs> this snare. Oh, uh, well, this snare uh, I, it was uh, purchased uh, uh, the same day that uh, this was, this was uh, set up to, to, to be slaughtered. Um, this is probably uh, tied for my favorite snare drum I own. Uh, my other being a Black Beauty, but uh, David is a dope for letting me buy it from him. 